Okay, so I've been asked to make a video on um, lumbar adjusting. So to give you some tips on how to adjust the lumbar spine. So the thing about the lumbar spine is, is you need to be able to do it in a number of different ways. You need to be able to modify your approach. It's no good just learning one way, because people come with different problems, injuries, different shapes, different sizes, different abilities. So we need to know how to do it in a number of different ways. Often when you see these sorts of demonstrations, you see them on young, fit people who aren't in any discomfort at all. So bear that in mind. Um, sometimes when someone comes in who's really in distress, you need to be able to modify your approach. So the first thing that you need to be able to do is you need to set up your patient correctly on the table. Okay, So you do need a table that goes up and down in order to um, adapt to different sizes or you need one that's specifically built for you. Okay, So the patient needs to be on the table, central to begin with. So get them all in line. See if you can get the patient doing it for you. Try not to do too much of the work yourself because remember you need to look after yourself, particularly if you've got busy days. Okay, So you need to know what level of the spine that you're going to be on and adjust. It's no good just guessing. Okay, So you need to know your surface anatomy. So we know the iliac crest is in line with L4. So often if you come straight across to L4 and down, will be on that lumbar sacral junction, but you need to make sure you're on the right one. The other thing, of course, is you need to have examined your patient beforehand. So make sure you've examined them for motion, examined them statically, you've done all your clinical examinations, and make sure that what you're going to do is what you need to do. Okay. So, first things first, let's get the arm just gently on the side. Okay, that's your first move. Now, with this bottom shoulder, we need to pull it through ever so slightly, so it's not a twist, it's just a pull through. Then, to stop them from rolling back, let's just get them to hold on to their elbow. Okay. So from there, if you straighten out that bottom leg, we'll bend this one up. Okay. This leg then just comes back slightly, so we're trying to get everything as much as we can in line. Now it does depend on what you're trying to do here. What we're going to do today is an extension, uh, compressive extension adjustment into the lumbar sacral junction. So you can just take the leg back slightly just to enable you to extend the spine, which will give you a little bit more help. So bend the knee up and then scoop under and ask the patient just to come forwards just slightly. So get them forwards so their knee is just coming slightly off the table. Now this is a compression thrust, okay? so we're going to use compression rather than twisting and torquing the spine up. So we're going to get the leg down and then scoop it backwards so they're already rolled forwards. Hold on and circle the wrist and then find your contact. Okay, So we'll come off, down into the lumbar sacral junction. Just use the whole of the hand. Elbow's not coming out here at the moment, just the whole of the hand, okay? So from there, you're gonna to have to learn to roll your patient as one. Okay, roll them as one. So there's none of this, this twisting up and talking up the spine up here. We're rolling the patient as one. Okay, so from there, once the patient is rolled, you're in a nice athletic position, and the actual thrust and drop is down this way. Okay, what you're actually trying to do is you're trying to squeeze your forces together. It's a compression, squeeze the forces together. That will create tension, and then as you roll, it's just a drop with the front leg down. Okay, down. So the drop is very much forward with the front leg, like a lunge. It's not this, it's not that, it's this. And at that moment, everything is squeezed together. Okay, 
So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you some tips into doing your lumbar adjusting. If we just run through that quickly again, so let's roll the patient back. So make sure they're set up correctly. Bring the arm up, allow them to hold loosely onto there. Straighten out that bottom leg, bend this up, bring them towards you and ask them to move. Drop this leg down gently, scoop them back so they're already rolling, already going where you want them to go. Okay? If you start too much up here, as they roll forwards, they'll feel like they're coming off the table and tighten up. So get them in the position straight away. Let them roll forwards. Circle the wrist. Come into position. Find your contact point. Flat of the hand. Allow the patient to roll as one. And then when you're ready, squeeze and drop. Squeeze and drop. And it's extension with compression. Okay. This is part one. There's several ways of doing lumbar adjusting and we'll post some more videos soon.